Hey guys, what's up? I have here, okay, on this hand with the green boxes, I have 24 Xbox 360 games. And on my right hand, or on this side with the clear cases, I have 24 PlayStation 3 games. So you might be asking, why am I doing this? What, what is the whole point of this? Okay, so I have made already three episodes of super cheap Xbox 360 games and three episodes of super cheap PlayStation 3 games. In each episode, I covered eight games. So, so far, I've covered 24 games for the 360 and 24 games for the PS3. Let me tell you guys something real quick. With the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, GameStop and other places are going to be discounting games in the coming months and years um, like you wouldn't believe. And so, more than ever, you're going to have the opportunity to pick up these games for dirt cheap, okay? Getting these games for cheap isn't going to be a problem. It's not going to be an issue. Let me just put these down real quick. Um, playing, playing these games, finding the time to play these games, that is going to be the real challenge, okay? Um, now, I know some of you guys have, have fallen into this where you have more games than you have time. You know, when I was a kid, I probably got a game maybe once every six months, uh, maybe twice a year. I didn't have a lot of money, and I cherished every game that I have. Now, since games are so dirt cheap, you know, some of these games are as low as a buck, and and some of these really cheap games are AAA titles. There's just people are trading in games just too fast for a lot of these places to keep up, keep up with. So to clear them out, they're lowering the prices. They're giving more and more price cuts. So finding the time is the tr the real challenge. And it really comes down to sometimes time management. Now, I know this might sound kind of weird, like mandatory fun. You know, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Planning game time, I know that might sound weird, but, you know, oftentimes we just want to relax, just want to play, play some games, and that's great. Sometimes, though, you know, the whole point of this video is I want you guys to, for those of you guys that don't do already, every once in a while, get kind of a plan of like, you know, today I'm going to play these two games or these three games. There might be some games that you haven't been able to play as much if you, as you have want to. Maybe you were able to get a couple games on sale, uh, you got a couple of games for your birthday, and you've got like this kind of backlog of games that you should really get to. It really comes down to it just making priority and forcing, I wouldn't say forcing yourself to play, but I know this sounds bad, but basically it comes down to is just smart time management. Uh, whether it's marking it on a calendar, uh, putting it into your phone, having an alarm, or um, having a watch, um, whatever, whatever to set the time um, for game time to have a set time there might be several games that you've just really wanted to get to but just never got to i would suggest to take a day and to play all those games that you've kind of been neglecting and then once you've spent a couple hours and have played those games prioritize go okay this game i want to prioritize and i want to finish this game okay for sure then the other games we'll see um so all, like I said, ultimately, it just comes down to smart time management. Um, you know, as I said, finding dirt cheap games is not going to be the issue. It's not going to be the challenge. Uh, but finding the time for some of you guys, that that is definitely going to be the challenge to overcome. So again, whether it's putting it into your smartphone, setting an alarm, setting the alarm on your watch, uh, setting up uh, something on a calendar, a schedule, or your planner, whatever it is, um, make time. Now, again, this is not a suggestion for every time you play games. Obviously, there's times you just want to kick back, or there's a game that you're focused on playing for the next few days or few weeks. That's understandable. I'm mainly focusing or talking about games in your backlog that you've neglected, that you've wanted to get to. Try to kind of grab several of those titles and try to, you know, play each one for 20 to 30 minutes more if you want to if you're having four more if you're having a lot of fun don't stop keep going but anyway guys there's some suggestions that i have and again it is 
a great time to be a gamer. Um, before I end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out uh, to Tokyo Flash Japan. Um, in a lot of my videos, you've seen this watch I have. I'm going to show you guys it real quick. It is. So this is the logo watch. It's a Kasai logo. Uh, and I've had this one for quite some time. Uh, Tokyo Flash Japan sent this out to me. I really appreciate it. It is a fantastic watch. I'll show you their website. And they've got some really cool designs. And, and I'm bringing this up mainly because, you know, this has an alarm. A lot of the watches have an alarm. But also, they've got kind of this cool, geeky... Uh, some of them are, have an edgy look to them that I could see a lot of gamers really digging. Okay, just, just a lot of them have really cool designs. Check out the website when you get the chance. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.